Hello lovely, how are you all doing? Today, I'm going to show you what I did, or what I'm going to cook. Already I've done this, this is um, fufu, already made fufu, wrapped in a um, clean fin. What I did, I blend um, porridge oats, the road one, with uh, corn meal flour. I mix it to do my fufu. Look at it. Look, you can eat it with anything. So this vegetable is dandalia vegetable, which I've already fried with uh, oil, garlic, and ginger. This is my chopped onions and and um, and um, garlic. That is my spice. That is my tomatoes puree and chopped tomatoes blend with uh, fresh pepper that is my fa salmon fish so let's crack on and do the cooking so i'm gonna tip in my oil and my saucepan you know and um, start the cooking i hope everybody's keeping safe washing your hands you know so i'm gonna tip in my onions I fry my onions. This is the dandelion tea. This is the flour boiled earlier on. You can pick it up in the field. Dandelion flour, boil it as tea. That is the vegetable I'm gonna eat with this sauce I'm making. So I'm frying these onions. Then you get a little bit brown. Then I'm gonna tip in my tomato sauce. So while it's cooking, I'm gonna tip in my, this is a tumari, curry powder, paprika, thyme, you can use any spices of your choice, you know, to your own flavor. It's just a, a little stew to eat with this uh, fish and this vegetable, which is already cooked. This one is already cooked. This is the dandelion leaf, dandelion's leaf. I just show you the flour, boil it, I drink it as my tea. So it's going to be eaten with this food I did, corn flour. Call me. The South Africa call it Saza or Zimbabwe call it Saza. So I mix it up with um, blended porridge oat, the rolled one. The one that say rolled oat. You blend it into powder and and do like fufu with uh, with the corn meal. So as this one is cooking, you know it's a little stew. You know. So I'm gonna cover it a little bit to so simmer quickly. Simmer in there. I hope everybody's keeping well. So that this vegetable is called under lions. You can pick it from the food. I got it while I went for a walk today. And I wash it up with uh, vinegar and salt, then fry it with olive oil and onions and garlic. That is the flour here. The flour. You can boil it and drink it as your tea. If you go on shop, you will see dandelion tea. This is the flour they used to make the tea or the roots. I got the roots already that I've washed and I'm drying it now. So the day I will use it up, I think I'm going to film it to show you guys. This fish, I'm going to use salmon fish. It, does, it doesn't take long to cook. So don't overcook it. Okay. So I'm not gonna overcook cook the fish. So I'm gonna just tip in a, a little bit of water, boiled water from the kettle, and I allow it to cook.
what I did, the tomatoes, when I blend it with onions, garlic, fresh pepper, I boil the tomatoes to remove the water so that when I make the stew, I don't waste time standing there to wait for tomatoes to cook first. That's, that's the secret. That's how I do my own stew. Whenever I want to use tomatoes, whether uh, thin tomatoes, fresh one, I blend it with my pepper, onions, garlic, ginger, and I cook it first to simmer the water so that my standing making my stew will be quicker. That's why when I'm making stew, you know. But if I'm making jollof, yeah, I boil it sometimes. So now it's cooking. So when you cover it so the heat can, you know. So I hope everybody's keeping well. And uh, thank you for my subscribers and keep subscribing. And uh, thank you for all your comments, your encouragement, you know, your support. Thank you so much, guys. This fish, salmon fish, it doesn't waste time. Five minutes is cooked. I don't want to overcook it. So be careful when you are cooking it. It's, it's a very delicate fish to cook. If you want, sometimes you want to grill it, you might, you know, season it, remove the scale. They normally come with scale. I eat the skin of fish. Some people remove the skin, so you don't need to remove the scale. So you just wash the fish gently and uh, put all your spices, put olive oil, wrap it with foil paper and put it in your roasting pan and just bang it in the oven. Five minutes is cooked. Don't overcook it. Okay, guys, like this one now. It's So I'm going to enjoy this with that dandelion, dandelion vegetable with the kome flour, kome flour with, uh, with porridge oats. Let me put a little bit of water. I cover it again, just give it two minutes, three minutes, it's cooked. So keep subscribing, guys, and um, tell me what you think about my channel. Tell me what you think about my cooking. If you enjoy my talking, let me know. Leave your comments. Keep subscribing and keep safe. Keep washing your hands. You know, follow the guidelines to keep safe from this uh, pandemic or pandemic that we are going through now. You know, it's really heartbroken. You see people dying like... A whole woman being is dying like like chicken. In fact, it's really scary. Very, very scary, guys. Very, very scary. So I'm having this. My fufu is already made. It's, very, it's not hard to do. What I did is I put in my hot water in my pan. And I didn't allow it to over hot too much. Mix it with coal. Then I'm tipping some few salsa in there. The flour. And I allow it to boil, boil, boil for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Then I began to turn. I began to put in the dry one inside and turn, 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 turn. You make it to your own thickness. If you make it to your own thickness. Okay, guys. So, it's already cooked. Now, I don't want it to overcook, you see. Look at it. So thank you guys and keep subscribing and keep safe and take care and bye.